All right, so I lied, and there's one more brick. So here, this piece right here is bent. Um, I, I know I don't have students that's worked with this tool because, yeah, it wasn't a texture rendering and lighting. So here, you can straighten out the borders of uh, UVs by going like this. So I would first cut away shells. That way you can get individual shells. And then you can take the UVs, grab all of them, and align them to bottom. Move that up. Again, grab a whole string of UVs, move that up, line this to down, and then there. And keep doing that over and over until you straighten out all your UV borders to be yeah, absolutely straight. This one doesn't need it. And you can see now that makes more sense. Alright, uh, a couple things that you might want to do though is... Yeah, there we go. That looks better. These are the end pieces. So if I wanted more bricks to be in here, I could. Just by going like that. Scoot those around a little bit. And I'm just kind of putting those in the relationship with these right here. Um, I don't like this face right here, so I just grab that. And size it to be about the same size as the other face. And there we go. That looks cool. I like that. All right. Now... I can do that with the top ones and the bottom ones. Okay, again, kind of do one of these until I see what's going on. These must be the back. In that case, I'm going to treat them just the same way as the front. Do not stack these. You cannot stack them. If you stack them, uh, the Unreal Engine will shade them weird when light mass hits them. So you don't want that to happen. In this case, I'm going to line up all my edges. and just try to get them matched up with the brick below. Alright, so this is going to take me a minute to get all these flowing the right way. Because I'm running out of texture space on this little block almost need a couple more rows <laughs> just to handle stuff like this. I'm going to try shrinking these down a little bit. That still looks good. Okay, that one's in a line with that one. This one is the bottom one, so no, nope, that one's that one's not even going to be used. Okay, these grout lines match up a little bit better. And last but not least, let's see this bottom one, which seems to be a very important one too. Okay, and I want those stretched out looking, so I go like that. And I want these stretched out looking. So, grab this face. Yep, that's the one. UV to shell, and then just kind of size that so it's creeping. 
All right, and yep, just keep adjusting until you're happy with it. Um, take and texturize all the pieces of brick before you go on to the next type of texture. And I'm going to be handling wood texture the next. I still have a couple of these other pieces I have to do, but it's all the same workflow. Um, nothing new that I have to kind of document via video. With these pieces, um, I didn't have the checkerboard on them at the time. So now I'm going to be trying to get them all within the same scale. Now a good way to catch that up Uh, would be apply the checkerboard again. Now you see this normal map right here is kind of not in order. See the the, video, the normal map compared to the brick? So in Photoshop something got a little bit jacked up there and you can see I've moved my color map just a little bit that's making the brick look weird. So move that back. Make sure things like that do not show up. And that's what happens when you have your um, auto auto select on sometimes. While I'm here I'm just gonna make another row just in case. So save as TGA. At this point, I'm just uh, recording this part, so if you are familiar with how to fix all these, you do not have to watch the rest of this video. It's just, you know, why not keep it documented uh, for those students that have questions about how to do this, how to repair it. Okay, Control E, take that, copy it, normal map, filter it with the multiple layers. Add that to my normal. Go into my normal, add that to the top of it. Image adjustments, levels, and adjust the levels on it. So it all matches. update my normal map and update my color map. And update my file. So it's good practice to keep doing that same workflow. Memorize it, just keep doing the same thing over and over until you're happy with the results. Uh, so much better, right? Look at the textures actually line up. And for this, I'm just going to align two grout lines and use those as a reference. This is very discombobulating, uh, trying to size this down. There we go. Check that out. Very close. At this point, I really do want to put the <laughs> checkerboard on. It's so much easier to judge because then you could put these right next to each other. and just get that flowing checkerboard look across the two meshes. Okay, so see that white one? That's what I'm judging. 
again, uniformly scaling in Maya. There we go. W. Ooh, so close. And I will call that good right there. Okay, then I could just reapply the brick textures. And now you'll see that the grout lines perfectly match up. Ah, the wonders of the checkerboard. All right, uh, last mesh is somewhere over here. I think I actually thought it was um, a trim piece, but actually it's more that staggered brick. It's to separate the two halves. Yep, because it's the same size. So it's this brick right here I have to mimic. That I've done before, so what I'm going to do is just stop recording and finish this, and then we'll go on with metal.